What's up, guys? Welcome, Welcome back, back to the SNS show. show. It's your boy Sean. It's your boy Sha. And we back with another video. Yes, and this video is one that we've been talking about doing for a minute. Um, it's a question that we get consistently. When are y'all getting married? Uh, is there a time frame? Do y'all have any dates? Do y'all know when y'all getting engaged? I feel like it's just something that people ask as soon as you get in a relationship wow. and they see you serious, but we've been hearing it over the course of these past upcoming five years that we've been together. So we're like, let's have a sit down and talk about why we aren't married yet and will we ever get married if we will ever get married. Yes. So without further ado, let's get right into it. I think one reason that I would say that we're not ready, um, I would say because like personally, like I feel like there's a lot of things that like I haven't worked on like with my inner self, like I feel like sometimes like when I catch an attitude um, or something like upsets me and like my negative self-talk might be like, you know, I don't even, I don't even care no more. Like I don't want to deal with this or I don't feel like, like I just get really annoyed. I feel like when you get married, it's kind of like you can't just, I feel like you shouldn't have those type of thoughts. Like, or if I'm having them or like, I feel like, I'm like upset to the point where it's like, oh, I don't want to be in this relationship, but I know I do. It's like, I think those are things that like I need to work on because marriage is not something that's lightly like, it's not like you could just, oh, I don't want to do this anymore. Um, I am a good communicator. Like I feel like I, like I don't be going to bed with a mad or anything if I ever do get upset, but I just feel like when you get married, it's a different ball game. Like you can't just mm -hmm. walk away and be like, man, I'm throwing in the towel. You go my, you go your way, I go my way. No, you gotta like work it out, thick and thin, as they say. So that's one thing I would say for me is like personal development. Like I really gotta grow in areas where I'm still kind of like have trauma, childhood trauma. Yeah, I think that's a good point. I think you make a really good point because sometimes a lot of us just jump into things that aren't. Um, that I feel like a lot of us jump into things that we know is just like not the right time and, and just for the sake of wanting what society wants us to do or what um, our peers, we see our peers doing it. Mm -hmm. It's like sometimes you have to sit back and really ask yourself like is marriage really the thing for you? Why do you want to get married? And I know it's important pieces to being married like you know in case of an emergency or something happens to your spouse um, in a single relationship because that's what we're labeled as on paper if you're not married is single but in a partnership where you're not legally married um you don't have any rights to give any input if your partner is on like life support or anything like that it's kind of like they're i guess like what well, is it like the first kin or like your parent or something yeah. like that whoever's living and if not then it, it just goes down in the family tree line but um I think that's a perk of being married to someone. Um, mm -hmm. Just the benefits overall, like owning a house together. It's a, it's a lot of benefits that I'm not even aware of. So you guys can always feel free to let us know in the comments and let us know what we might be missing uh, out on that's important that comes with marriage. We have uh, a few family members that are married and some close friends that are married. But um, I think it's a question that we should ask more and get some insight from them too because I feel like a lot of people that ask us when are we getting married are people that are not married themselves and it's no like it's not nothing wrong with that but sometimes I'm just kind of like that pressure that people put on us it's kind of like why do you want to see why do you want to want to see us married so bad and I mean it's not always a negative thing too so that's why I try to look at it from both sides but some people just see the union and respect it and just be like they want to see it go to that next level because they mm -hmm. so used to see people do that. Yeah, and I think some people also buy cares to live through you. Like some people that know they know know they don't have their person or know they're not gonna get married, but they see like something in you. They might be like, I just want y'all to get married already. Like y'all just every time I see y'all, y'all is this way. Like when is it gonna happen? And I think like you said. I don't know, I feel like when year when you're years into a relationship, I think traditionally like people be like, alright, we've been married, we've been together three years, like when am I gonna get a ring? Or when am I gonna get engaged? And I feel like 
just because you've been with somebody at X amount of years don't mean that y'all have dealt with things that y'all need to deal with to go to that level. Like some people could be married, be together five years and never really had an argument or never really talked about like what's your life goals or like things that we need to work on like or they really don't work on breakdowns in the relationship. They just time just keep going. It's like, oh, we've been together 10 years less. Let me propose to her because I don't want her to leave or I don't want him to leave. Mm -hmm. Then it's like, all right, you propose and now y'all married, but all that stuff that y'all still having, those conversations y'all didn't have, now you marry and then then what? Then you start getting divorced because y'all never talked about it. So I feel like just because you've been together with somebody all those years don't mean that y'all dealt with what y'all needed to deal with before y'all just say, oh, we're going to get married because we've been together eight years. Yeah, I agree. Agree? Mm-hmm. I think personally for me too is like I to what, to speak to what Sean said earlier, it's kind of like I it's some a lot of self work that I still have to do on myself, and I don't want to go. I feel like that's a, a serious thing as to as being in a relationship, but that's like next level seriousness. Like you say, you can't just jump up and leave out of that. Mm -hmm. It's paperwork and stuff like that involved, and so many other things at stake when you just uh, when you're tied uh, to a marriage. So it's kind of like you have to really truly be ready and some may say when are you when are you ever yeah. really ready for anything but when i say ready i mean from the aspect of just like loving myself individually wholeheartedly and fully like if this man left tomorrow i would still be okay that type of love for myself i think having that then i would be able to love him the right way that he needs to be loving also he would you know, have to come with loving himself too and knowing who he is as an individual and be able to stand on his own before he can stand as a partner with somebody because if not, it's kind of like you're only one when you're with me and you should be one individually and we be we come together as two to make like one whole, but right. if that makes sense. But it's I think mo our major reason is for just personal growth and development that we want to work on. Um, outside of also having like financial goals that we have set in place mm -hmm. that we uh goals that we want to accomplish before we decide to take that take that next step as far as um a marriage because also i mean we want to have our dream wedding when we do get married we both want to get married but we want to do it the right way like we want to do it our way and if that means waiting for us we both talked about it and we're not rushing it i think also we have to realize that we're still young and like we don't have to do things i think i'm just not the type of person that do things because that's how society says it. if anything i do the opposite is because i just don't like feeling pressured just because i'm in a relationship like i'm not people actually like when you get married when you have a kids weekend i just be like slow down like damn i just i'm like i'm just getting to a place where i feel like i'm enjoying my 20s so it's like let us travel a little bit more let us see the world and you can do that married but i just feel like it's just steps it's levels to it and i think we're coming up on our five-year mark next month and well no in two months yeah in two months in march so it's kind of like that's a long time but like marriage is something that you have to be sure about and i don't think we're sure about it right now like we know we want to do it but it's like we're not sure as far as kind of like, no, it's locked in. We 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 gonna do the work and stuff like that. I feel like when we at that place, we'll know. Yeah, the right time could be next year. We don't know, but I know the goal is to like get married because like, I just feel like for me, the time I've invested in this relationship, like the where we're going, like how we are, like how we get along um, aside from things that we're still working on. I feel like it's there. It's just a matter, like he said, of when. Um, and we just don't know. I mean, we have talks about it. Like, we mm -hmm. talk about it here and there. So it's not something that we don't talk about. Like, we also have friends like Brian and I. Like, we look at people mm -hmm. that are married and just watch how they maneuver, watch how they... We be like, damn, we going to get there. Like, your boy will be 30 in, like, three months. And at one point, I was thinking, like, damn, I told myself, like, by 30, I want to have kids, I want to have my house, I want to have this, like, and it's like, I'm not there yet, but I'm working towards it, so it's like, but I can't get caught up in like, 
oh by 30 I'm supposed to have this because there's no book that says Sean by 30 you need to be this you mm -hmm. need to be that that's just what I follow I mimic as I grew up like I saw my maybe my grandparents or my aunt or my uncle or my cousin like and I heard them say yeah by this age I need to have this by this age I need to have that and I feel like that applies to me but it's like how you said it don't like when we're ready we're ready we could be 50 when we get married that's our choice I don't think there is no right or wrong of when you should get married. Y'all yeah, just do it when y'all feel like it's the right time. And don't let anybody, I think for us, it's important for us to not let anybody rush us into that mm -hmm. because nobody's paying for the wedding but us. Um, right. Nobody, I mean, people are just going to come and, you know, reap the benefits of the marriage. And as they should, if we, you know, they're a part of, we allow them to be a part of that. But we also have been back and forth with just kind of like, do we want the big wedding? Do we right. want private proposals? Do we want a private wedding? Do we want a, cer a big ceremony or a small ceremony? It's just like, you go back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Something on oh, TV. TV. <laughs> um, you go back and forth with what you want. But all, all in all, I think nobody can make that decision for you but you. And I respect and appreciate the people that genuinely want us to, to see us happy in that in that space. But like right now, it's not the time. I think just respect people's wishes and, and, and let them decide when it's time for them to get married. Like just don't pressure them into that. But for us, it's, it's just the thing that we've been talking about a lot lately because not that we've been thinking about it, but we just have been like hearing it so many times in the past that it was just like, hmm, let's just sit down and talk about this. Because I feel I know a lot of people probably were wondering, like, why aren't they married yet? And <laughs> this is partly why it's a lot of stuff that me and Sean have to work on individually and together. I think we have a beautiful relationship and it will only get better, but we're human and um to speak to what you said earlier too like we're gonna argue we're gonna have ups and downs it's just married or not yeah married or not it's just your approach with mm -hmm. you like i feel like we want to get um better at what well, we we are getting better at the way we deal with our arguments and our yeah disagreements i said yeah because at one point a couple years back you know you get mad we could probably go a day or two without talking or go to sleep mad both go to work, then we may come home and talk, we might not, the next day. And it's like, what I learned from that is just like, you just never know, what if that's the last night that we go to bed angry and then I wake up and the person is not here or I went to work or he went to work and something happened to one of us out while we're working. So we changed that approach and started like, we're gonna work through it. We might need like a good 30 minutes or an hour but we're not gonna let a whole day go by where we're just not talking because of a disagreement or something that we didn't agree on. I feel like when we marry, I wanna make sure that we work through those things. Like, yeah, we gonna give us each other time, but not be like a day or two. How some people I could talk to, they be like, yeah, like we ain't talking five days or I ain't fucking with that person. It's just like, person. I ain't messing with that person. It's just like, wow, like, and y'all marry or y'all this and no judgment it's, but it's no, just it like is it is it is judgment but it's just like that's something i'm like i know that i want to have that in order like i don't want to be in that predicament like because we should have a better understanding like if we have the same mindset about certain things that we may get into it's better that we work it out now so that when we are there it's not a dysfunction like it doesn't make us drift off because of um we haven't worked on that like but we're growing um i feel like some days we might wake up like he said we don't know how we want to do we want to have a big wedding because sometimes i'm like baby you want to just go to like downtown and just go to city hall and just tell everybody hey we married and then have like a destination after so we talk about it here and there but again i think the mere thing of us getting on here was just to let you guys know where we are um how we feel um and what's the what we predict for the future, like what we want, but what we got to still work on to get there. And like you said, the timing is not guaranteed. It could be two years, it could be a year, it could be five years. But we're happy, we're fine. Um, I'm just not ready to get married right now. Yeah. <laughs> not right now. I think that pretty much wraps up this video. Yep. I know it's been a little while since y'all seen us, but 
We had to recuperate, you know, it was New Year's, babe, uploaded like four, three or four videos, like back to back to back. And sometimes we just need a break, like, we understand that people would like to see our face, but again, you gotta make sure you ready to get on camera. Like, you can't just be jumping on and jumping on. We gotta take a little break, get ourselves together. Um, but we're back, we got a video now. Uh, we hope you guys like this for y'all that have been wanting this question answered. Um, now you got it, and we'll see your comments, how you guys feel about, I think, the question that um, Babe said earlier. Um, and that's all I have. I'm enjoying my little red cup. Yes. Thank you guys again, Brian and Alec, for giving us this. First time using them on camera. But with that being said, um, we appreciate you guys, and we'll see you guys. The next video will be a vlog, so yep. happy Sunday, and we will see you in the next one. Peace. It's S&S. S is S&S. It's S&S. It's S&S. Bye, guys. Cheers.